my job at Akamai is to look at new standards and technologies and then see how that's going to impact our customers and see how that will impact what products we need to bring to market or products we have, what we'll need to adapt them to help support new technology and new standards. Um, so CMAF falls right into the middle of that. CMAF, as you know, has been around since 2016. It's basically an evolution of something we already supported. So fragmented MPEG-4 with an ISO BMF wrapper. And we can get into all of these details in a bit, in a lot, in a lot, de a lot more detail later. But the, um, so essentially for, from, from a CDN perspective, it's just another file to deliver. What, why it's so important to um, Akamai and to other CDNs is it, it offers this uh, right to a convergence where we'll have only one file we have to serve to everyone. As opposed to in the past, you know, if we look back even you know, five, seven years, we were maybe serving five different versions of exactly the same object at the same resolution with the same audio and same everything. Um, CMAF gives us a path to, um, which we're realizing in real time, and I think the rest of uh, the cohort on this panel will kind of give us some uh, insights there. Um, we're realizing that, that potential. And so while we didn't need to do anything particularly to serve another file, um, the way it's addressed through different manifests, both the Apple spec HLS and through the MPEG dash, um, we had to change some of our processes to make sure that we were um, correctly, you know, parsing and syntax checking manifests that are now addressing CMAF to make sure that they are going to be um, valid and compliant for delivery. So if we, the more checking we can do on the front end, the better the experience be on the back end. Um, if we can get to this goal of one file that covers you know, all end devices, it means that we will have a much better or origin offload. If we're having to pull different, two different versions, we have to keep both of those in our caches all the way through our network. Um, if there's only one version, it's more likely to be in an edge cache, which means you'll get a better performance. Uh, so from a C CDM perspective, CDM CMAP offers us this potential to improve not only kind of the, the, that core pipeline, but to just improve performance overall. And then we can focus on trying to solve other problems, like how can we get better experiences to other devices? So um, this is kind of a low level thing, which we've kind of, uh, a lot of times in the industry, we run into these kind of almost uh, forced, forced bifurcations of workflow, just because you know, one device kind of picks one path and another, another universe picks another path. Uh, th this may be the point where we at least managed to knock one of those convergences down. We'll break it again with something else and that will keep us all gainfully employed for more years. But this is that, that moment we're at to and that's why I'm excited.